Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Diz Gaia! Let's start episode mm -hmm. 9. Nothing beats having tea in outer space. How beautiful the Earth is. It reflects the nobility of my mission. Charles C. Britannia, is that you? Jennifer, how much longer before we go into hyperdrive? Let me see, Gordon. About, oh, five minutes? Uh, but of course, as we all know, we have to have half-naked women working on our spaceship. Absolutely. Only five minutes until we say goodbye to the Earth. Are you scared, Gordon? How do humans get to the netherworld anyway? Hey, hey, you're joking, right? Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, is afraid of nothing. You, of all people, should know that. You've been along on all my adventures. What <laughs> for? Don't answer that, right. yours. Beep, beep, flip, beep. Hey, R2-D2. Oh, sorry about that. Of course I didn't forget you, Thursday. Thursday? That's the best name you could come um, up with? Keep staring at Jennifer's thighs. Pervert, pervert, pervert. <laughs> hey, why you? Uh, Thursday's my favorite of the three. Ooh, we have an incoming transmission. Looks like it's from the Earth Defense Force headquarters. I'm turning on the holographic projector. Fudge. Hi. You look good, General Carter. So, what can I do for you, Commander-in-Chief? You look a little grainy, but otherwise you look pretty good. You're moments away from entering hyperdrive. This will be your last contact with Earth. Do you have any messages, Gordon? Let me think. Tell everyone on Earth to have a grand parade ready for my return. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the hot babes and Pizza Shack's teriyaki pizza. Well, I thought you were with Jennifer. Maybe she's just, uh... Let's see what we can do. Uh... I'm sure you don't need me to repeat this, whatever. but the Earth's she fate is. is in your hands. We're counting on you. It's nothing I can't handle. So, what does this have to do with us? How true. I pray for your success, Gordon. Gordon, we're about to go into hyperdrive. But you haven't gotten the liquid Schwartz yet. Okay, Jennifer. Hyperdrive engine number three ready. All systems go. Now entering hyperdrive. Engage. Engage. Make it so. I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah. You look like you're trying to go somewhere, but you're not actually doing Episode anything. Episode 9, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. It's like your lips are moving, but you're not saying anything. The faster go, I run, the friends. slower There's I go. There's some kind of anomaly in the stellar graveyard. Kind of anomaly. Invaders from another world? I have no idea, dude. Hmm. Invaders? I wonder if that are was they cool. angels who are here to take me back? Oh, maybe. I doubt it. That place attracts a lot of weird things besides stars. Yeah, no one wants you back in Celestia, Flan. Flying saucers, probes, brain suckers, midgets with glowing fingertips. <laughs> oh my! That means there may be people who are hurt! Yeah, no one wants your nagging up in Celestia. Let's go, Laharo! They were glad to get rid of you. Why do you think they sent you down here in the first place? Forget it! It's probably just a piece of trash. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit on my ass for the entire episode. Laharo! Jeez, shouldn't an overlord be doing something more important than this? Why did you want to be the overlord if you don't know all these things? You don't know about the printies. You don't know what your responsibilities are. Oh. <laughs> Well, thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, really? Huh. Well, that would explain how they would get here in a spaceship. So that's how you get to hell. I always knew hell was in outer space. I always thought it was in Michigan, but uh, apparently I was wrong. Hmm. Way to break the fourth wall, game. Well, as always, we want to uh, read Etna's diary, so let's go do that. What, did the developers forget about to tell us that until now? Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Well, fortunately, I already knew better, because, well, I've played this JRPG before. 
I always know when they give you multiple weapon types to work on that you grind up the levels on them, always focus on one type. Don't want to spread yourself too thin. Isn't Discord spelled with an H? I could be wrong on that. Hmm. Or you could have just misremembered, but... Aww. What do you mean by that? I'm sure you're just being paranoid. Eh, pay no attention to him, viewers. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, there's you. I don't think that's something you want to brag about. But I, then again, I suppose you are a zombie. Okay, well that's everything we want to do there. Uh, one thing I have done off screen is I took uh, another muscle and orb through the item world to uh, get those arms masters there. So, just to take a quick look there. Yeah, muscle fight, took through the item world, doubled the arms masters there. I also moved some arms masters to my v muscle victory from the blood orb, which originally had arms masters, but I subdued them and move them to my muscle victory. Again, you don't have to do this, but it would be a good idea. Let's uh, turn on the spell effects again after having gone through the item world there. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm the one in charge. Of course I get to teleport everywhere. Okay, so let's... I don't know how you pronounce that. Gordon? Gordon, where are you? What happened? Oh, this isn't good. Where could he be? Spaceship crashed. Gordon failed to escape. Nuts. Probably smashed into atoms. Rest in peace. Don't worry, Thursday. He's Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Understood, Jennifer. Activating life scanner. Oh yeah, I wasn't gonna do my job. Thank I was just Thursday. uh I was just gonna Always listen to a hot babe. That's the law. <laughs> beep, blip, beep. Prime directive number four. Or wait a minute. So this is the stellar graveyard. Doesn't look like much of a graveyard. How beautiful. But it looks like the stars are crying. Flan, you're so romantic. I just want to choke you to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill you. You are choking me. I, I, I can't breathe. Hey, enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Saved by the bell, Flan. I guess the Harl isn't into cat fights. <gasps> I hope she was just joking. I almost became one with the stars. Around here, that would be pretty easy. And now we come to one of my favorite maps in the game for level grinding, at least in the main storyline, anyway. So, uh, first things first, we got a 3x3 three three grid of enemies, and we got Winged Sire, so let's start with that. Soften them up a bit. Here I come! The real nice thing about maps with a 3x3 three three grid of enemies is that there's a lot of 3x3 three three abilities in the game, and you can use them to kill nine enemies at once and finish the battle. Then reload the battle, do that again. It's a really good way of uh, level grinding. So, kill the one in the middle there. Um, no, not you. Eh, no. Now, unfortunately, axes and guns don't get 3x3 three three abilities, unlike the other weapon types that I have now. So... Something to keep in mind with those guys. Use Asteroid Drop to finish some of them off. Or all of them off. Why not? I was going to say, if you didn't finish them off with that, you could uh, use Lion's War from the ninja there. But I'm not. Because they were already dead. So, let's just uh, rest up there and move on to the next battle. Uh, you know what? One other thing I want to do. I do want to save here. Just in case. Yeah, episode 9. Gotcha there. And let's see what's going on with that uh, spaceship crash there. The Thurvian Sector. 
sense any signs of life, Thursday? Unfortunately, no trace of Gordon's biological signature. Nuts. I see. We have to find him. I heard at headquarters that the netherworld is full of nasty, vicious creatures. How bad could they possibly be? If we're discovered... Ugh, I'll be molested by countless slimy tentacles and my bodily fluids will be sucked dry. No, that's only in the hentai. Or we could be swallowed whole and suffer a slow and painful death as we're digested alive. Or even worse... Jennifer... Please keep your imagination under control. Use your imagination with Gordon. Life signs detected. Readings do not correspond with Captain Gordon's biological signature. Life forms are approaching. Oh, run, run, run. Shh, Thursday, be quiet. <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> That's odd. I thought I heard oh, a voice Thursday. from a woman. Oh, Thursday. What? I love human Thursday. Human children in the netherworld? <laughs> a human? And on top of that, she's... I got it. You were kidnapped by the Overlord, weren't you? Oh, the humanity! I heard that demons are merciless, even towards children. Oh, you poor things. They didn't bite your arms off, did they? They didn't suck your brains out, did they? They didn't anal probe you, did they? <laughs> what the hell does she think demons are? I like how she progressively speaks her lines faster and faster there. But don't you <laughs> worry. Big Sis will make it all better. No! Get away from me! What? Keep your sexy body away from me! Oh yeah, he has a problem with large-breasted women. Oh, I understand. You're going through puberty, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, don't be embarrassed, cute little boy. Everyone goes through that period. He's got the angst and everything. Okay, I'll teach you everything there is to know. Everything? You see, as young girls mature, their breasts grow bigger, and boys... Great! Now she's teaching sex ed! Who the hell is this lady? I don't even need to comment on this. The game does it all I'm for me. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we're not human children. Huh? Well, what do you mean? I am Flan, an angel in training. This is Etna, a demon. And the one you call cute little boy is the Overlord, Laharl. You couldn't tell Etna was a demon by the tail on her? This is outrageous! <laughs> I can't believe such a cute little boy could be the Overlord. I like her delayed well, this reaction. This is completely different from the information provided by headquarters. What's going on, Thursday? What kind of information? Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Now calculating. Now calculating. I like the uh, Star Trek original series sound effects. Now calculating. Now calculating. Calculation complete. What's the answer? Headquarters is a bunch of liars. <laughs> I just like how Thursday's so oh, blunt. Oh no! Does that mean that the Overlord planning to invade Earth is a lie too? We came here to slay the Overlord for heaven's sake. There must be some misunderstanding. Wait, of course. did I hear you say you came here to slay the Overlord? Uh, no, 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 not me. That's the responsibility of our hero, Captain Gordon, the defender of Earth. Well, I'm he's his assistant, defending. Jennifer, and this is Thursday, then the multi-purpose super robot. Why is he attacking? Beep, 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 beep. Nice to meet you. Hero, you say? Preemptive strike? Yes, Captain Gordon is the Earth's hero. His noble mission is to vanquish any evil that threatens the Earth. But we were separated from him when our spaceship crashed. Maybe you shouldn't be telling us all this. <laughs> come on! Very interesting! Oh, come on! I must definitely meet this Captain Gordon! I wanted another evil laugh, Laharl. You disappointed me. What is me. that? It is an Overlord's duty to challenge heroes! Wow! Cool! <laughs> Woman, follow me! I shall find your hero! Really? No, no, I was just Don't jacking with you. that body of yours within a three-foot radius of me! Oh, as you wish. Is Captain Gordon alright? Find out next time on Let's Play Disgaea! 
This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day. Okay, let's go look for Gordon.